Tonight is the night. After weeks of strange images, unexplained structures, and rising scientific tension, 3i Atlas reaches its closest point to Earth today, December 19. What astronomers capture in the next few hours will determine whether this object settles quietly into the category of an unusual comet or forces a much deeper rethink about how interstellar visitors behave. This is not a routine flyby. This is the final window. 3i Atlas is an interstellar object, a body that formed around another star system long before our sun existed in its current form. It entered our solar system at extreme speed on a trajectory that does not loop back, does not slow down, and does not belong here. After tonight, it will begin fading rapidly, slipping beyond detailed observation, and eventually disappearing forever. But right now, something about it refuses to behave normally. Over the last several days, new images from observatories across the world have revealed a feature that has unsettled astronomers more than anything else so far. A massive sunward-facing structure, often called an anti-tail. This anti-tail does not point away from the sun like a normal comet tail. It points toward it, and not by a small amount. The structure extends up to half a million kilometers from the nucleus of 3i Atlas, farther than the average distance between Earth and the Moon. Nothing like this has been clearly observed in a comet before, especially not in an interstellar object moving at this speed. At first, scientists hoped the explanation would be simple. A viewing angle illusion, a temporary dust alignment, a projection effect caused by Earth's position. But the anti-tail didn't fade. It grew. New frames taken night after night showed the structure persisting well after perihelion, the point where comet activity usually declines. Instead of weakening, the sunward feature remains sharp, coherent, and structured, with internal brightness patterns that suggest organized motion, not random debris. Image processing techniques revealed even more. When astronomers applied rotational gradient filters, the anti-tail showed layering, curvature, and directional flow. In some frames, the material appears segmented. In others, it looks twisted, almost sculpted by forces acting continuously rather than in bursts. To reach this size in the observed time frame, material would need to be expelled at speeds of at least 130 meters per second and expelled toward the sun. That's where standard comet physics starts to struggle. Solar radiation pressure pushes material away from the sun, not toward it. Sublimation-driven jets are usually chaotic, not sustained in one direction for weeks. And yet, 3i Atlas continues to do exactly that. Even more puzzling is the relationship between the anti-tail and the object's rotation. As 3i Atlas spins, the structure doesn't collapse. It doesn't scatter. It stays aligned, as if the spin itself is feeding or stabilizing the flow. Some researchers now suspect that the object's internal composition is highly uneven. Layered materials responding differently to heat, stress, and solar interaction. Thermal observations support that idea. Different regions of 3i Atlas heat and cool at noticeably different rates. That implies a complex mixture of materials, not just ice and dust, but possibly denser regions embedded beneath the surface. This kind of structure suggests a violent formation history shaped by collisions or extreme environments far outside our solar system. And tonight matters because this is the closest we will ever see it. At roughly 268.9 million kilometers, 3i Atlas is as near to Earth as it will ever be. Every major observatory has been tracking it. Amateur astronomers are contributing time-lapse data. Image archives are filling rapidly. Because once this window closes, the chance is gone. There is no danger to Earth, no impact risk, no threat. But scientifically, the stakes are enormous. Objects like 3i Atlas challenge a quiet assumption that interstellar visitors are rare, simple, and easily classified. In reality, our detection systems are biased. Fast-moving objects from deep space are hard to catch. Many may pass through unnoticed unless they are large, bright, and nearby. 3i Atlas may be telling us that our solar system is not as isolated as we think, that interstellar material may pass through more often than we realize, and that some of it may behave in ways we don't yet fully understand. Astronomers are being careful. No one is claiming artificial origin. No one is jumping to conclusions. 
but they are openly acknowledging something important. This object does not fit neatly into existing models. Tonight, researchers are watching for three things. First, changes in the anti-tail. Does it intensify, fragment, or suddenly collapse? Second, brightness fluctuations. Any sudden spikes or drops could indicate internal restructuring or asymmetric outgassing. Third, of spectral anomalies. Unexpected emission lines or unusual ratios could reveal materials rarely seen in comets. The data won't arrive all at once. Some results will take weeks to analyze. Others will trigger immediate discussion. But the moment itself, tonight, is irreplaceable. As Earth rotates beneath the sky, telescopes follow a visitor that began its journey around another star, crossed interstellar space for millions or billions of years, and is now passing us by, briefly revealing clues about environments we may never reach. Whether the explanation turns out to be rare natural physics or a category we haven't fully defined yet, 3i Atlas is already doing something important. It is reminding us that the universe does not owe us simplicity. Tonight is not about answers. It's about observation, about restraint, about letting the data speak. Because sometimes the most profound discoveries begin with a sentence scientists rarely like to say out loud. We don't fully understand this yet. And tonight, the universe is daring us to look closer.